guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my summer most worn items. Now I've actually decided to condense this down and only share five of my most worn just because I found that as I was sort of wearing a little bit more of a capsule wardrobe that I was just gravitating to the same pieces and also the same sorts of styles of silhouettes so it would get very repetitive. I did also just want to quickly mention that I am pre-filming this slightly so this is the last video I'm filming before baby is born and hopefully when this goes live we will have baby but who knows, I could be overdue. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that in case you're wondering uh, if there's any discrepancies in terms of what I've shared on my other social media platforms or updated you on on YouTube. So with that all out of the way, I'm just gonna dive right into it. I've got three clothing items and I've also got two accessories. And I started finally tracking my bags at the very start of this year. So I will be incorporating a bag uh, most worn into these videos. The first one I wanted to mention is going to be no surprise, particularly if you follow me on Instagram, because I <laughs> would say this is probably the dress that I most frequently am wearing when I am sharing an outfit update. It is my Mato, my Mato tiered cotton dress. So this is a, I would say it's essentially it's a midi length dress on me maxi if you're shorter than me i'm 172 centimeters for reference and this is not a maternity style at all uh this i actually bought uh very early on in my pregnancy just because i knew it would be something i'd be able to wear throughout i'd be able to wear it for nursing i want to wear it just generally and it had been on my wish list for about a year before i finally decided to splurge on it it's a very expensive dress <laughs> and what makes things worse is that I was doing some cleaning when we had our uh, sort of like baby shower, baby celebration and I managed to get a little bit of bleach on the dress. So there's a couple of little marks which I have to cover up with a pen whenever I launder it now, <laughs> which is not ideal but I mean it has been very well loved and definitely the thing that I have reached for the most. It has pockets, it's very nice and lightweight, it's a cotton poplin. My only little nibble with it is the fact that I find that cotton poplin just attracts cat hair. You may know we have a rag doll called Winston and he just sheds fur like crazy. We did get him groomed just because we wanted to make sure that we wouldn't have any issues with uh, fine hair when the baby was born. But uh, I do find that I usually have to use a lint roller to remove any little bits of cat hair and fluff that have stuck to this. The other thing I wanted to mention about it, and it has worn really well, I've washed this loads of times and it's held up perfectly. Uh, I'd actually like to get it in another colour, maybe in one of the dark florals. <laughs> I do find that the straps on it are very, very long and I've had a few questions about this in terms of making sure it is the right length for me. So what I did at the back was I knotted the strap. And the reason why I did this over choosing to sew it was that I felt like if I wanted to actually extend the length of the straps, it would be a much easier fix than having to unstitch some sewing work that I've done. So while it probably doesn't look as clean and as simple as it would if I'd actually stitched the strap down, I do find that it's a really simple fix, especially if you also have this dress. The second item that I wanted to talk about is a skirt and this is one that I completely forgot to mention in my summer wardrobe new in video so <laughs> I've actually been wearing this a lot over the last sort of I would say six weeks. Uh, this is a grey ribbed pencil skirt from Lego Heritage which is an Australian maternity brand and why I decided to buy this was because I was wearing my ASOS black skirt so much and I really just wanted a little bit of additional variety because because I had condensed my wardrobe down so considerably, I have been wearing the same items over and over again and sometimes just need a little bit of change. So this for me was a really great addition. I love the fact that it was grey so it offered me a slightly lighter colour palette and the best part about this is that you don't actually need to be pregnant to wear it. So what I like about it is every single time I wash it, it kind of just shrinks back down to a slightly more snug fit. It is so so stretchy, so comfortable. Uh, it doesn't feel very kind of tight or anything like that anywhere on my body, which I really like. And I really love the split that it has 
down the left side as well I just think it's a really nice touch and it's very flattering and I actually coincidentally ended up doing some work with Lego after purchasing the skirt the dress that I'm wearing is also from there and this has been amazing too so I will leave a link to a photo that I did for that campaign on screen in case you want to see uh, but I've really been enjoying wearing this one as well super comfortable and also nursing friendly if you've been looking for something really simple so yeah that has been a really great basic to have in my closet the final clothing piece I wanted to mention is just a really simple tank top this one is from Evelyn and it is their Pima cotton stretch tank I believe now so many of the tops that I have in my wardrobe have very high necks and I find that I really like to lay a sort of jewelry over the top of that but recently I have been really into tanks that have more of a scoop neck I actually feel like it's very flattering shows off a little bit of clavicle uh, and is just a bit of a different look for me and I personally love their Pima cotton range especially you know the one that's got this uh, ribbed effect to it and then it has a seam detail down the back because I feel like it is so high quality I have the mock neck in black which I wear a lot in winter just because it is a fantastic layering piece and this has been exactly the same I'm going to actually buy this in the gray and the black as well because I feel like it's a really good basic it's very stretchy I wear it in an extra small that's my usual size and I mean definitely with the baby bump it doesn't cover my whole belly or anything like that but it's been really good to team with things like that Lego skirt that I just mentioned anything that I've got high-waisted it is just a touch wee bit sheer that's the only thing I would say so you can kind of get a little bit of um, visibility of my bra underneath but to me that's not really something that bothers me I think you could probably just wear those uh, nipple covers or even just a strapless bra which might afford you a little bit less uh, obvious lines or anything like that with this but absolutely love it great basic cannot recommend it enough finally we've got my accessories so let's talk about the bag that I wore the most or have been wearing the most and that is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull and I keep saying this I am planning to do a full review of this bag I just want to wait until my bag organizer arrives which I finally purchased I was really slow for that I will link the organizer that I bought from Etsy down below actually just in case that's helpful for anyone who also has this bag but I've been using this a lot mostly because it actually fits my hospital card in here and I'm a little bit paranoid I, a lot of my bags don't fit my hospital card in it so for me it just makes sense to carry this it has been great because my essentials are so compact I mean this is my wallet my keys and then I've also got my car keys as well and I usually have a lip balm and some mints and that's basically all I carry around with me on a daily basis especially now that Luke got me an audible subscription for my birthday so I'm listening to books instead of needing to carry one around so this has been a great size in terms of if I'm nipping down to the shops if I'm going to my PO box anything like that because I've got a lot of room in there to throw anything in especially if I've forgotten to take a reusable bag with me because sometimes I forget to take a canvas bag or one of those bagu bags so this has definitely come in handy for that reason it has been holding up so well I've been really impressed with the quality overall I'm really glad that I went with the dummy at a bin just because to me it's a little bit less uh, in your face it's much more subtle than the classic monogram from Louis Vuitton and it really does just go with everything being in that really nice sort of neutral dark brown so a really good tote I have the MM size for anyone wondering and I think it's a very good size for my height I'm 172 centimeters for reference uh, if I didn't mention that earlier <laughs> so I feel like it's a good size from that perspective too uh, will be interesting to see if I can fit all my baby essentials in there <laughs> but yeah, that has been my most worn bag and then finally my most worn pair of shoes which really I'm not surprised by because I just wanted to wear these shoes all the time and they have gone with so many of my outfits it is my Saint Laurent New Pied slides and I kind of knew when I bought these that they were going to become a shoe I wore all the time I really love the slightly off-white milky color I think it is a little bit more unique than any of the other colors that I've sort of seen 
ideally, well, I mean, in, in an ideal world, I probably wouldn't have gone for patent leather just because I do find, given I have wider feet and also because I have a bunion on my left foot, that they can be a little bit harder to break in and also just be a little bit harder on your feet because it is a much stiffer leather because of the actual process of uh, developing the patent exterior. I did find when I was first wearing these that I got blisters. However, now that I've actually broken them in, um, they don't cause me any issues at all. They are incredibly comfortable. They haven't actually worn at all. And actually that's probably the beauty of Peyton is that if anything sort of drops on them, I can just wipe it off. So I don't have to be as precious with these as I would if I had the leather pair, which I have gone and looked at the leather pair in store, just the tan ones, and they mark up really easily. So I think from that perspective, these have been fantastic. I did mention this in my summer wardrobe new in video, I sized up. So I sized up a full size to a 41. Part of the reason was because I was concerned that maybe my feet might swell over the pregnancy. I have to say, I have been incredibly fortunate throughout my pregnancy to not actually experience any swelling at all, aside from occasionally in my hands when I've gone for a long walk on a hot day. So I haven't had any swelling in my ankles or in my feet. My bridge hasn't dropped as far as I know of. So that's meant that all of my shoes still fit me. So I haven't had to worry from that perspective. I do know that your feet can still go up a size following birth, so definitely something I'm going to continue to keep in mind. But uh, I am glad that I did size up because I found that the size up were wider, so great if you've got wide foot. And also, I just like having that little bit of extra space at my heel, especially when wearing a slide. So if you have wide feet like me and you love these shoes and have been thinking about them definitely go half a size or a full size up just to get that extra width because honestly it makes wearing them so much more comfortable so yeah that is my most worn shoe of the summer i'm really not surprised that all of the items that were my most worn were the ones that were very easy very simple and just complete wardrobe basics if you have been watching this series since i first started sharing these updates i want to say probably four years ago, then you will see the same things coming up over and over again. And I personally really love that. It kind of tells me a lot about my wardrobe. But there you have it. That is kind of my most worn items of the summer. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'd love to know what you've been wearing a lot over the last season, whether you're in the Southern Hemisphere like me, or if you're in the Northern Hemisphere experiencing winter. I'd love to know what you guys have been wearing so that I can plan ahead for my winter wardrobe. But yeah, that is it from me today. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next week with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.